The wait has been long, such that many say the reshuffle has lost its sting and the new ministers will not make the mark required for a party grappling with economic difficulty. For the NDC, the recent reshuffle starkly reflects a government in disarray. Fifi Kweti well, questioned why the reshuffle did not reflect the lean government promise by the NPP's flag bearer. The recent reshuffle by President Akufuado starkly reflects a government in disarray, obstinately disconnected from the realities of his people. Despite the vociferous appeals from Ghanaians, civil society, the clergy, academics, and think tanks to trim the bloated size of government, a glaring drain on our nation's scarce resources, this administration has once again turned a deaf ear. The insistence on maintaining a government apparatus comprising so many ministers is not only a slap in the face of the Ghanaian taxpayer, but is testament to an entrenched culture of profligacy, cronism, and a disturbing myopic view of governance. The NDC challenged the vice president and flag bearer of the NPP to facilitate the removal of all taxes promised now. Our advice to the vice president is that if he has indeed turned a new leaf and has seen the light like Saul on his way to Damascus, he should show genuine repentance by first apologizing to Ghanaians and then join the NDC to scrap these taxes now and not in the future. The Ghanaian people cannot live through another day of these suffocating taxes let alone 10 good months. The time to scrap the crippling and draconian taxes that the MPP has imposed on suffering Ghanaians is now and not in the next 10 months. How is it possible to trust a vice president who has shown no remorse or penitence about deliberately lying and conning the people of Ghana? A man who believes that leaders can continue to fool all the people all the time. A man whose words cannot be trusted is a man who is not fit to lead. For the opposition party, John Mahama is a superior candidate ahead of the December polls.